click on that one. FF65. <laughs> <coughs> yes, now, <coughs> now the memory cards were created. These are the memory cards which we have created. Now, how uh, the memory cards which will have impact on our reports? Okay, we'll go and see that one. Okay, as of now, I haven't posted any customer vendor related transaction. Then we'll we'll do the postings that one. First, we'll see the because even for incoming and outgoing transactions also. Okay, which should happen through the banking only? Which which I mean, uh, which should happen through the bank only? Okay, all the transactions except the petty cash transactions now how this memory cards how this will have impact okay just check this one i mean the expiry date it should be the same day for intraday so then... so Vijay, yeah. for memory cards okay. we can we can post the you know credit balances as well whatever you have shown those are credit balances i think you know debit balances also we can post it right by giving minus for the amount yes 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 Ravi. yes Ravi. that is that is we can do that we can yeah. do yeah yeah that that uh, see for for i mean let us assume if this is the incoming okay for outgoing it should be must and should have the minus balance on the right no is it possible to amend the memory card no no it's not i mean uh, i don't think so f60 okay here itself here itself right i don't think <sighs> Amount we can, uh, yeah, amount we can change, but expiry date we can, yeah, amount we can change. Okay, fine, yeah. Amount we can change, amount and validity date, but expiry date we cannot change once we will create this one. Okay. Let's, let's try the minus value. I think I remember, okay, even we have, I mean, I remember for other batch, okay, so the currency amount is generated. Even for negative also, it will accept negative amount also. I think in the statement, <laughs> we have minus balance. Yes, um, yes. In, in such situation, definitely the record should the member record should be created with the negative balance only, right? It's not the positive balance. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody was asking the question. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, so is there any identification these doc these memory cards has been posted via FF underscore five? These memory cards has been posted uh, manually. Is there any identification such type of? Okay, yes. See, identification in the sense. Uh, let me let me show you that identification for memory cards uh, posted by the FF underscore five posted by the uh, manually. They, I mean, only the user ID is the identification. User ID. You can okay. see here. Okay. User ID, okay. yeah, definitely, definitely user ID will be there. But as you said, FF underscore five and by manually, I mean that 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 will not be there. Okay, but user ID by okay. using user ID, we can able to identify. Yeah, that one. That one. Okay, fine. Then let's go to the. I mean, see once this will be done the important thing is that then we must have to view these transactions into the cash flow analyzer remember this is the interview for your interview point of view very very important one seven <coughs> the reports in cash flow analyzer Fury app, okay. Then without in interview, if you are, I mean, I'm just giving the uh, hint to you. If you have an experience, okay, in cash and liquidity management, they must ask you this question. Can you explain about the cash flow analyzer Fury tile and how it is going to work? Okay, so I mean the cash flow uh, analyzer app is one of the what SAP has come up with that one cash inflows, cash outflows, the planning levels. Okay, the I mean one thing I want to show you before because that concept wanted I kept it on hold. Okay, so before discussing about the cash flow and Analyzer app. There is a one functionality SAP has been provided snapshot functionality. Okay, snapshot is nothing but a, I will give you the ex example. This you need to you need to understand the snapshot functionality. Also, I will show you first of all where the snapshot it is there, how it is going to work. Earlier, even we have uh, even even uh, in ECC six also. <coughs> I I worked for custom custom program. Okay, the custom program was <clears throat> giving the report. Let me show you this one. Where is the snapshot functionality, which is there? First, I will show you that one. Financial supply chain management, cash and liquidity management, <coughs> general settings, 
define bank settings here you can see here enable snapshot functionality here okay then yes. what exactly the enable snapshot functionality if you if we are going to enable this functionality what exactly will happen okay then let me save this one because uh, wantedly i kept it on hold this one because for our understanding purpose when the moment will come if i explain i mean this will be fruitful for us that is the reason okay so i haven't activated that checkbox now i will explain you what is the importance of the okay uh, snapshot functionality snapshot functionality snapshot functionality so let us assume now today we have created the memory records okay so the memory records today we uh, with the today's state we have created then the validity of the memory records i mean by end of today it is going to expire then if you want to see the same records for tomorrow i mean if you want to view the historical data historical memory historical planning data we cannot we cannot view those information because the validity of the memory record <coughs> already been expired then we cannot view them even in ecc also we were not able to view the expired memory cards information in the report in ff7a or ff7b we were not able to uh, uh, derive those uh, past to our historical memory records but now in s4 hana they have come up with the concept called as a snapshot functionality by activating the snapshot functionality what we can do even the historical memory records also which we can able to derive in the report okay which we can able to derive the report either it's a cash flow analyzer or ff7a and ff7a b also which we can derive the memory records that is what the functionality what sap has given okay earlier it was not there in s4 hana they have given this functionality remember this is every step is a important because now even if you migration project or implementation project whatever it may be okay all these steps we must have to perform okay if it if anyone is not clear please let me know once again i will explain about this concept sir can you explain one more time sir definitely definitely fine so now let us assume the memory cards we have created let us assume i have created 100 memory cards okay so <coughs> 100 memory cards <coughs> which i can display ff ff uh, 7a ff 7b or cash flow analyzer i can able to display them over there okay now today see i have created memory cards today i can able to view today only tomorrow if i want to uh, uh, view the past i mean the yesterday's memory records that functionality was not there even ecc system also was not able to support this functionality okay historical data but now they have come up with the concept is a snapshot functionality when the moment if you when the moment we are going to enable this functionality the historical planning data i mean historical memo i mean based on the memory